Welcome to the Pixelberry Choices Podcast, guys. And today we're going to be talking about Immortal Desire, Chapter 9. So, this chapter was really interesting. And as I've been telling for a while that, so far, we don't know anything about the main plot of this book. Except, we are in a town of Crimson Beach, which is occupied by vampires alongside humans. And two hot-headed vampires are against us. Uh, not against, but are fighting against each other for us. And also that our moms and our heads are on the line if we don't keep our mom from digging more into some killings, which definitely the most powerful vampire covens have something to do with in this town. So this is a plot we know of so far, and this is what we are juggling. But at the end of this chapter, we think we might be getting closer to the real plot of this book that we may have seen at the start, just before the book started. All right, let's jump into it. So we were grounded by our mom in the last chapter because we were caught sneaking up into places we didn't belong to, staying late, coming back late, and going to forbidden places that our mom forbid us to go, like the jungle, woods. So, oh well. And she thinks that Gabe and Cass are bad influence to us. So we're grounded. We're inside our room. It's been a while. It's been a week, I guess. And we feel really bored, so then we hear a telltale knock on the window, um, and there was Gabe inside us. So Gabe just flew through the window into our room while our mom was not at home, and we had some chores to do. Vampire abilities, you know. Um, so I think, like, there were a lot of references in this book from the, I mean, not references, but some of the things the vampire could do that... I, I think they kind of uh, went, uh, you know, sort of uh, idealized these things the vampires can do after the Vampire Diaries book, or, I mean, the show. So this was pretty interesting. And then Gabe comes in, and we feel a little relieved that Gabe or Gabriella, finally, we are with them, and there is no worry, and we have a heart-to-heart -heart with them how we're feeling and we get closer to Gabe, you know, the sweet, nice personality. And then we tell Gabe that we have some chores to do and Gabe is ready to help us with the vampire ability. Of course, it is a diamond choice where we can get closer to Gabe and we will see that Gabe is using some amazing vampire features, some vampire powers, superpowers at this point, you might want to call it, to clean up the floor and we just enjoy amazing time with Gabe. And at the end, after the chores are done, we get to have a little romantic scene with Gabe. Uh, we will have a dishwashing competition and we will also throw dishwater at each other and we will completely soak Gabe. So Gabe will, to be honest, this was uh, an interesting scene. Well, Gabe will open her, uh, you know, like depending on you choose the male or female, like they will open their you know t-shirt or the thing that they're wearing and we will get to see sort of uh, as you know like you have different choices so Gabe will tease you that you're ogling Gabe and it's a little funny teasing moment and then we get to be a little intimate with Gabe and kiss there's an amazing kiss scene with Gabe and then Gabe goes away and then we are with uh, our own thoughts and then we see another knock and we see that Cass the bad girl or bad boy is throwing rocks at our window and then Cass wants to take us to some place we know we're grounded we could land us into grave danger but Cass still wants to let us make the decision whether we want to go with her or not or him with Cass so I think um, both the love interest what they stand for it was portrayed really well in this chapter Gabe at first a sweet uh, boy next door girl next door type class president you know always goody two shoes came in helped with the uh, helped with our chores and then we had a nice time and now Cass who is sort of a bad girl bad boy rough five so yeah like um, go chase the adventure do something out of the box you know so we will go with Cass and you know again Cass will fly us through a window and to an alley and we will go inside that and we will see a fighting ring so it reminded me of all those um, sports I've watched like WWE or AEW so and we will see that this is not a normal pace and I think 
this chapter really if people were not going after Cass like me this chapter really gave us the scene to really bond with Cass and see who Cass really is because we were in a room full of vampires and there was another coven except for Ven Indies, a coven outside the town I guess and it was a inter coven fight that was going on and then we see all the vampires are aggressive specifically the Ven Indies, and the other um, coven vampires were making some snarky rem remarks about uh, Cass hanging out with a low life human like us but then Cass protects us and the feeling of vulnerability that not vulnerability but feeling safe while being vulnerable we know like you're in a room full of vampires if they want they can just uh, open our skull drink blood you know just uh, they can basically tear us from piece to piece but we are with Cass and we know that we have this security inside us that Cass won't let that happen and even we challenge Cass and like uh, have these smirky banters with Cass so I think um, they really did a good job with both Gabe and Cass on their personalities like that they were assigned and we really get to see them on their level that who they are they're different personalities they are uh, definitely not the same person but one thing they have in common that they both care for us so in a diamond scene we'll get to drink all the Venendis blood and we will get to tag team alongside Cass and fight the other coven and if you do that it would be an epic fight scene you know you'll get to live all the fighting scenes you've watched on TV perhaps you have in real life taken part in one of those I'm pretty much sure you haven't well, <laughs> so anyway I mean um, this was an interesting scene and at the end when we win we can kiss Cass in front of all the coven members and it would be a joyous thing and Cass will smirk and it will be an amazing time we'll spend there and then we'll come out of the alleyway we will give each other promises that we'll make promises with each other that we would like to come back here and then snap our mom's there and she has caught us thinking out in this questionable alleyway when we were supposed to stay at home and Cass is the one so she blames Cass that like Cass is the person who's responsible for our downfall we were a good guy we're a good son or daughter but then we got corrupted by Cass and then we tried to defend Cass and one thing leads to the other and she says that she has found our shoes in one of the crime spots and that really does it and she says it was Cass we went with and then it slips our tongue and we say that Gabriella or Gabe was the one who we went there so we just revealed the identity of a not not identity but we led her to another person who's also a vampire and if our mom digs more about Gabe this will just bring trouble and we know that this really seals our deal and we come back home and we are in a room we hear a knock and we know it's that guy from the coven and he wants to take us to the nexus we go there and we see the hatred in all of this elder vampire's eyes that we let them down and oh my goodness I thought Lewin was the more humane but it was really hard to look at his eyes like um, you know he was ready to just uh, rip our head open and drink blood from us and so was Astoria we try to defend us we see depending on your reputation of vampire that some of the vamp coven mates uh, will stand up for us that not stand up per se but will try to defend us that we did our best but it wasn't good enough as Leon or Astoria will say and then we'll see our mom dragged in the room and it just pains us that we also try to make a last bargain that uh, and the bargain was they kill us and they let our mom go if we're dead our mom won't even be in this town anymore so spare her but then I already listened to her uh, to us because it was a package deal as I said from the very beginning we die our mom dies when we see Gabe trying to help us but they uh, Gabe they're basically whole you know the co other coven mates they're holding Gabe back and uh, Gabe is pushed on the ground by force and Gabe cannot help but helplessly watch our fate and we see our mom there's a question a lot of questions in our mom's eyes but above all we see fear and that just uh, makes us teary and that was a very emotional description there and our vision is so blurry with tears that we can't even see our mom and we just clear it to have a final glance and Astoria and Lewin uh, both of them 
have their hold on one of us so i think leon is drinking from us uh, not drinking but will drink from us and uh astoria will drink from our mom so then our heads are pulled back so that they will start drinking and we want to say some last words you want to see look into our mom's eyes before our life runs out but then suddenly someone enters and it's one of the if i remember um clements and they said that there was a vampire party and all of them were killed a hunt party uh, and a search party something and they were all killed and there was one vampire who's missing and that is harlow yeah cast harlow we don't know what's going to happen next and this is where the chapter ends so let's review this so i think we just stumbled on our plot for this book and i don't know what's going to happen after this like but i don't think they're going to kill us because there is a new danger all vampires killed cass is um abducted i don't know where cass is so we care for cass so we will try to go and find cass and save her but meanwhile who is going to save us so i think they will delay the process because you know we know a lot about cass so we will be able to save her or something that could bring you know the covens together and that could make them forget that they are not going to kill us because we're not the biggest threat i don't know like something like her mom telling she won't reveal the identity and she'll work to you know because our mom's a for, you know forensic expert and i don't think they're going to be able to find another forensic expert to in time to do all the diggings to see who is killing the vampires so and i i don't know like this is where it gets tricky to be honest something's going to happen you know that they're going to make a deal like our mom's going to work to find the murderer like on the forensic level and they're going to help cast and gape to find first you're going to cast uh, find cast and then we're going to take step by step like a lot of directions it can go to but i think this is a plot changing plot twist you know like story changing plot twist let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below This was an amazing chapter, and again, uh, I'm not gonna say it um, enough, but this is where it truly hurts that a book with such potential is not gonna get a sequel. And as you guys said, you're right. This book is moving a little bit too fast. I mean, in some books, you've said the pacing is a little slow, like the unexpected areas and so on. Sixteen chapter books, but um, no, the, not the pacing slow, but the pacing slow, not the chapter length. There's a difference between pacing and chapter length. chapter lengths are really big and unexpected areas but the pacing was a little like here there here there but here it's moving from one topic to another one topic to another like super fast and it's good to have but i think we need some we needed some more time uh, somewhere to explore some things some more emotions more like for instance when gabe became vampire uh, i mean not became but when we found out that gabe was a vampire i think that needed some time to explore like what really is the main character feeling the main character is like oh yeah like uh, yeah i'm really pissed at you didn't tell me or oh no it doesn't really affect me like there should have been a heart to heart between gabe gabriella and the main character only like what is going on i think there were some scenes some exclusive diamond scenes but apart from diamond scenes you know like truly giving it time like letting uh, getting to know cas more beyond this diamond scenes like who cas is on her core I know we'll get some time more in future books but I think somewhere the pace needed to like like just stop for a second and look at the environment that we have so because we're moving so fast so many plots within 16 chapters that's just this book is about but it is what it is you know so let me know your thoughts your opinions your theories from now on what's going to happen what do you think is going to happen in the next chapter I cannot wait for the unex um the uh, cursed heart the cursed heart and immortal desire oh my goodness what book we are reading in the current time it hands down beats it beats all the books being released last year i mean just look at the schedule of this year start from wake the dead crimes of passion untamable princess swap cursed heart immortal desire and don't forget non vip folks murder at home come in and the phantom agent are yet to come This is going to be a great year, believe me. And Slowburn releasing most awaited book and Bolus is Bolus 2 has just been confirmed. I can't be more excited about choices because this gives me hope. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, peace out.